Let's see Bruce. Let's see Nate, I'm gonna get out of the way. see that it, it's synced. Okay, so the start of the movie, which is this kind of little blue thing, has gone to the start of this recording. Okay, and now if I click, click play on the movie, it also plays back the data. Oh, it's always been delayed. Yeah. Okay, so it is delayed. what type of activity is causing that particular um, EMG signal. Okay. And if, if there was a synchronization problem, all you, all you need to do is you go to your, your source data, because remember, this one and this one is based on this one. Okay. And all you do is you work, you work out the difference in time, so you can click around and work out the difference. And then you just use this shift function and shift the channel. Kind of one by plus or minus point. So it's normally only like 0.1 seconds or something. So normally you only need to worry if it's like a very time dependent thing, but this type of thing of human EMG is perfectly okay with that in synchronization. Okay, so you can always you can click through the movie and it scrolls to the lab chart, or you can click in the lab chart and see what exactly what was happening in the movie. When <laughs> I'm in the back. <laughs> um, yeah. So this movie is actually also stored in a separate file as well. Yeah, that's basically EMG recording and analysis in that chart. Close 
click in my channel. If I want to add a comment here, click there. Go add comment, and I want to add this first. You can write whatever you want in these comments here. I'm just going to add third. Okay, so first, second, third contraction. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this information to our data pad. Uh, but before I add it, I'm just going to set up a few columns. I want to have this as the type. I want to have this one as the actual. I'll see the mean value. So here, uh, statistics I can calculate a mean. Click OK. And here I want to enter the text on my comments as well. Okay, so comments, and I want to edit the full comment, add the full comment text. And I should select channel two here as well. Yeah. So the time of my selection, the, the mean of my selection. So this will be the mean percentage, and this will be the text on my, on my piece as well. Okay. So now all I need to do is I can select my data. I'm just going to select a region around the top of my peak. Okay. And I click on Add. Okay. So what it's done, it's added the time in my record down here. Uh, it's added the mean, so this is the mean percentage for this particular selection. And it's added the comment text, so I know this corresponds to my first contraction. Okay. And likewise, I can do this for number two. If I want to get the whole, whole sort of top of my um, contraction, I select the region I want to calculate based on, and I click on add. Ah, not that one. It's add comment. Add data pad. Okay, so you can see this one's a bit bigger. And here, I'm going to calculate the mean for the top of my peak here. And So it's a quick way of extracting numerical stuff from uh, into nu in numerical data from your graphical data on the right hand side. Right -hand side there. Okay. Um, just trying to think what else is useful for EMG. Um, you have any questions about the analysis or recording or anything?